oh my goodness, by popular demand, so many people have been asking me to make a video about Kevin Samuels. And I'm like, sure. It, it was definitely on my list of videos to do. This is going to be a hard pill to swallow because I'm not coming to sugarcoat nothing. Come on in. Have a seat. Have your um your lunch, your drink, your wine, your blunt, whatever you got. Just come on in and sit down. <laughs> Let me get this shared everywhere while y'all come on in and sit down. Okay. So, a lot of people have asked me to make a video about Kevin Samuels. And I watch his content. And let me let me just let me just say this because y'all y'all see the title of the video. Let me just say this. I see a lot of people, you know, a lot of women saying they don't like Kevin Samuels. He's disrespectful. He's degrading to women. What? Kevin Samuels talks a lot of truth. But let me tell you how Kevin Samuels comes to the table and he returns energies. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, black women have been doing that to black men for years. All he did was come and return the energy. All he is is the karma. They were in an uproar because he was on a live. And he told a woman that she was a, a, a five. Or he told her like um below average. Oh ma'am, how many kids do you have? Oh, how much do you weigh? Why was he wrong? I'm just saying. Why was he wrong? Women, women have judged men for so many years. Women have not dated men because they were fat. Because they were short. Because they had a little penis. Oh, and women have no problem telling a man, your penis is small during an argument. Oh, okay, that's not degrading. You don't think that would hurt his feelings? Mm-hmm. Some men it does. But let me tell you how women have also set up and, and argue with men and, and called their mom fat. Called their mom ugly. So, so you, so this is what I'm saying. I'm not offended by any of his content at all. I have never been triggered. I have never been offended. He has too many kids. It's a lot of women that have seven, eight, nine, and, and 10 kids. So let me tell you something. If it's a man's preference to say, I don't want to date you, you have too many kids. He don't want to date you. Why are you offended? Why are you mad? This is my point today. My point is black women dish out what they can't take back. Bingo family. Look, check this out family. <clears throat> I personally on all social media platforms, including YouTube that I started two, uh, a year and about nine months ago. I have been literally in a constructive manner <coughs> trying to outline to black females, I don't call them black women, I call them black females, that they are on a path of destruction, depression, and solitude and loneliness. Straight up. And I've been doing it in a constructive manner out of love. And I personally have gotten so much pushback. Family, I have women, females, black females that I have known for upwards of 10 years that I love dearly. I'm not even talking about women that I had, had an intimate relationship with. Just black females who I love. They don't fuck with me at all. They have literally ceased communication. I'm talking about within the past two years, family. I have been telling y'all about Kevin Samuels for two plus years. And it's not, see, it's not about Kevin Samuels. It's not about me. It's not about any individual. Is the information facts? You understand? Is it true or is it false? that black American females have not been forced to take accountability for their treacherous behavior for the past 35 plus years. Either that's true or false, which is true. 
That's why we're in the situation we're in now. And I never say all. Oh. I have yet to hear a black man on social media or any platform out of love say all black females. But the truth is, it's the majority. I'm saying it's 85% of them, bruh. And I can prove it. So, the situation we in, the black females who do not want to be held accountable for their actions, you can't run, you cannot shame, you can come up with all types of dumbass terms, pick me, mule, pick me, shit, whatever. Misogynist, chauvinist, shit you heard from crackers, female crackers. Who gave you that dumbass term? Chauvinist, misogynist. You can't run. Because the men, the men that y'all want are not buying the treacherous bullshit y'all selling. And the real black women are coming out in droves calling y'all out. And that's what it is. So take this pill and improve because 75% of y'all got children. I'm telling you family, me, I'm gone. I don't even care about what a black American female says about me no more because I'm gonna be in Brazil in, in, in seven, eight, six, 16 months with a black woman in Brazil. Who don't know nothing about no? I don't need no man. I'ma be a thot. I'ma be. I'ma. I'ma eat fifty phalluses and think I'ma think I deserve a husband. See, I'm not even gonna have to deal with that because in Brazil prostitution is legal. So it's either if you're a prostitute or you a white. But look, all y'all that stand here in this racist ass white supremacist terrorist country, dealing with these grown children, which is eighty five percent of all American women, all American females, but particularly black American females, hey look, hey, go ahead, good luck. You understand what I'm saying? I, and I'm, I'm gonna be real, there's times where I've dished stuff out, it came back to me and I had to be like, hold up, I can't even be mad. You know why? Because I've dished that out before. I don't, I don't, I just feel like nothing is wrong with his content, but it's like, oh, he's degrading black women. Black women have been degrading black men for years. We have been degrading each other in this black community for a long time. Then they came and said, Kevin Samuels, why can't you treat us like Dr. Umar? Cause he's not Dr. Umar. He can't teach you, he can't treat you like him cause he's not him. But at the end of the day, go date a white man. Dr. Umar will treat you different. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. You can't come to the table and say, why can't you treat me like this? Why can't you treat people like this? Why can't you carry yourself like this? I don't know why people have a have a big problem with this man. I see no problem with his, his opinions. He says a, a lot of truth. A, a lot of truth. I've heard him tell women, you know, look at the attitude you have. Look at the way, look at the way you're talking. There's a lot of women that, you know, go on there and they project masculine energy. I don't, I don't think that a lot of black women understand that. You're, you're not giving off feminine energy. You're giving off manly energy to men that are looking for a, a feminine wo woman. You see what I'm saying? So... My my thing is I'm 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 not triggered. I'm not mad. I find a lot of value in the things that he said. Kevin Samuels didn't do nothing but come to the table and turn it and gave women a taste of their own medicine. That's it. I, I even seen some men say, I don't like him. He's degrading women. Da, 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 da. You know what's so crazy to me? Society has made it a norm. For women to degrade men. For, for, for women to disrespect men. And nothing is said about it. it. It's the norm though. As soon as a man comes. 
And it seems like he's degrading or disrespecting a woman. It's a problem. Why wasn't it a problem coming from a woman to a man, though? That's all I'm saying. Why is there such a, a, a big double standard? Me as a woman, I'm not triggered by the things he's saying. Let me tell you something. One thing about me, I'm not everybody's type. You understand what I'm saying? I might be a few people's type, but I'm not everybody's type. Some some um people may not like a plus size woman. You see what I'm saying? Some men might not find me attractive. I'm not mad at that though. I'm not mad at the world. I'm not running around here thinking I'm all that and every man's going to want me and I control everything. No, no, we have to tone that down. But you know what really kind of um, got me is that black women are always in my messages, always in my comments calling me fat. Telling me I'm ugly. Telling me I need to lose weight. But y'all mad when this man come on here and tell y'all to lose weight. How can you diss something out, but you're not prepared to get it back? I tell people all the time, good or bad, if you dish it out, be ready to receive that back. How do y'all do that? Because you know why? Some people mindset is crazy they think oh you know what i'm gonna go over i'm gonna call i'm i'm mad at what shalakemia said i'm mad that shalakemia is empowering black men so i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna call her a fat bitch that's what i'm gonna do oh you fat bitch you're dumb you don't know what you're talking about why are you triggered why are you so angry and then when someone like kevin samuels comes to the table and tell you need to lose some weight you mad you mad and your feelings is hurt. You don't think my feelings was hurt when you came and told me I needed to lose weight? You see, you see how it's good for women, but then it's 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 bad for men. That's the world that we living in. People are mad at this man for coming and telling the truth. People are mad at this man for coming to the table and treating them like they they've treated black men for a long time. Oh yeah, baby, it's it's time for things to stop. It's time for things to be brought to the light. Do you understand that? It's it's a season for truth and double standards to be killed. I don't. I really don't be worried about people being triggered. I I really don't. People don't like the truth. We are gonna be real about that. And and on the on the flip side of things, people love to be comfort with a lie. It's it's something about a lie that people love. They love to be comfortable in a lie. If you comfortable in a lie, you can't grow in life. I don't think people understand that. If you cannot stand in the mirror and face your true self, if you cannot take responsibility for the things you do, you will not grow. Those women are triggered because they're comfortable with a lie. They are not able to take what they dish out. Black women, come on. We Let me tell you something. We have a powerful tongue. We can tear people down or we can build people up. And let me tell you something. You can't, you, you just can't be mad. You can't be mad. We have lived in a society where it has been acceptable and okay and profitable to bash and tear down black men. Now black men is coming to the table talk about, hold on, you're below average. You got all these kids and you're how old? Oh, okay. Because see what some of y'all are looking for is some of y'all are looking for a man to come in and help you with those kids that aren't his. But you don't want to give him the respect that he deserves. You understand that? It's a lot of y'all with, I've seen a woman with eight kids. That met a man that had six and told him, oh, you got too many kids. No, baby, you got too many kids. Period. You got too many kids. The too many different men. Oh, but you want to judge him for having six and you got eight. You see how that don't work? That don't go together. That don't work together. We got to start being more humble. You understand what I'm saying? We we judge men a lot off of, oh, if they live with their mom. Oh, you ain't got no car. Oh, you work at McDonald's. What do those things have to do with who he is as a person, though? Because, see, this is my thing, though. A lot of women are going to mess with a drug dealer that don't take care of his kids. 
but it ignored a man that worked at McDonald's, that work, walked to work every day and provides for his children. Then you get mad at the world. Then you mad at the world. How you mad? That was your choice. This is what this is what just irks me about about some black women. You want to be mad at every man in the world. You want to be nasty to every man in the world behind the choices that you made. Nobody told you to have kids of him, sis. Nobody made you date him. Nobody made you stay after he cheated. We have we have um, free will to walk away when we want to walk away. You got free will, but you stayed. You stayed. And now you mad at the world that every man's a dog and every man ain't shit because you stayed. When do we start taking responsibility for us? When do we start saying, okay, you know what? I could have done A, B, and C better. When? These are the choices. But see, people's mindset, people are so um about appearance i don't understand why people you know are are about appearance in in that kind of way when it comes to you know choosing a man today you want him to look good on the outside and all that but then you're you're struggling behind closed doors you're struggling because that's that's what it is when we when we learn to take some of these things out of the equation, like I said for years, that black women been doing this to men because they don't have a car or they might not have a place or they, they don't come full package with a big house and, and a six-figure job and a, a foreign car and can buy them the nice things. And no, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. If we, if we, if we in this lifetime, start getting to know people for who they are, I think that things will shift a, a whole lot. Because like I said, you you overlook the man that works at McDonald's for a dope boy. Why? It's just a why you do that. Then you don't get the result that you wanted to get, and you're mad. And you're mad. That, that's all I'm saying. Yes, very, Philip, very materialistic. And I'm not saying don't want nice things. I'm not saying don't want to do nice things. What I'm saying is stop judging a book by its cover. Stop it. You don't know if that person may have, um, car may have broke down. You see what I'm saying? You don't know if that person, you, we, we judge. I remember, let me tell you something. I remember, um, I was homeless a, a few years ago and this guy, you know, was trying to get with me or whatever. And we were talking and, um, I had no choice but to, you know, go and stay at the Y and get back on my feet. Well, we were talking and, you know, I'm I'm up front. Listen, I'm I'm staying at the Y right now. Now, mind y'all, um, I was staying at the Y because I was working at a job that wasn't paying us. They they haven't paid us in two months. We would go to the bank, try to cash our checks, and the bank would be like, Nope, they ain't got no money. So I lost everything. You know what I mean? This person didn't know the, the story behind why I had to stay at the Y. I knew. But I expressed it. I'm like, you know, I didn't get to really, you know, share the whole story yet. But I, I, I wanted to see how this person was going to treat me. So I told him, you know, I have to stay at the Y so I get back on my feet, get a place and stuff like that. I never heard from him again. The whole time I was at the Y. And I was okay with that. I wasn't worried about no relationship. I was worried about getting on my feet. You see what I'm saying? But... You know, somebody wanted to date me or talk to me at that time. I wasn't going to be, I wasn't going to be against that. You know why? Because you meet some of the most amazing people at the lowest times in your life. You understand? So I heard from him a couple months ago. You know, he hit me up. He's like, oh my gosh, like everybody, you know, like your name, like is coming up in rooms and people talk about you and I'm so proud of you. And, you know, I want to take you out on a date. I said, mm-mm, no. We can't go on a date. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Take care. He judged the book by his cover. He he didn't look at Shalakemia. He didn't get to know Shalakemia. He was focused on my struggle. Today, 
I'm telling you to stop focusing on a person's struggle. You know why? Because what have I told y'all for years? A blessing comes wrapped in struggle. Sometimes God will take you through a time where you have nothing. Where it seems like people no longer see you because they're not supposed to see you no more. He takes that time to remove people out of your life that mean you no good. So you didn't want to date Shalakimia that lived at the Y. But now you want to date Shalakimia that everybody's talking about. You don't get to do that, baby. You don't get to do that. And I tell these black men all the time. 